Ryan, this is John. So today we have a 21 day challenge for you, which is gonna focus on lower body and core strength. Now this challenge is not only good for the runners we coach and the upcoming races they have this fall, it's good for just about anybody to increase that core lower body strength. In our 21 day challenge, we have six exercises. Each exercise, we want you to do 50 reps for a total of 300 reps. We have three lower body exercises, three core exercises, and we're gonna finish with a one minute hike. So our first exercise is a basic squat. So Lori's gonna have her feet about shoulder width apart. She's gonna squat down. And what she's gonna make sure is that if there's a curve in her lumbar or lower back. She's gonna make sure her chest is out and that her head is facing up. So she has some curve in her neck, but also you wanna keep that body out and that arch in your back. This strengthens the quads and the glutes. Our next exercise is a reverse lunge. A reverse lunge is really good for kind of preserving your knees. Sometimes a forward lunge is a little tougher on it, but she's gonna step back. She's gonna drop her knee all the way to the ground. This strengthens not only the quads, but it also stretches the hip flexors and it stretches the hamstrings. So this is a great one for runners. And you notice she alternates arm and leg. So she, when she has her right leg forward, she has her left arm forward. This mimics the running motion. So it increases that kind of coordination when you have, if you are a runner. Our third exercise is a forward diagonal lunge, okay? I like this one. You'll notice when she bends down, her knee's at 90 degrees, but she does a little torque to the opposite side. And what this does is it kind of stretches and strengthens these internal rotators of the hip on the inside here. Some of you may feel a real contraction in the hamstrings. So it really gets a lot of muscles you don't usually get in with standard squats or standard lunges. Our fourth exercise is on the ground. This is where we get into the middle of the body, a little more core. It's a knee tuck. She's going to have her hands under her glutes. She's going to have her upper body up and her knees towards her chest. And then she's going to extend out. So she's going to drop back and extend the legs. This works the abdominal region, but it also, when she goes out, it puts a good hard stretch, also strengthening those hip flexors, which are really important for you runners, especially if you're running a marathon or half marathon coming up, those hip flexors will start to fail as we fatigue. We gotta strengthen them other ways than running. Our fifth exercise is a back extension. This is my favorite. Remember when you run, you know, it's not all about the lower body and the legs. It's about good posture so we can expand this rib cage and breathe. So you'll see when she goes, she's doing a rowing motion, okay? What this is extending and it's contracting those shoulder blades in the back. It's gonna give you that good upright posture. Now she can also do a variation. If 50 seems hard for you, she can put her hands out in front of you. And what happens is she extends. Again, it's gonna strengthen that low back and that upper back. And it's a great way to work the back of the neck too. Not many ways to work the back of the neck. So this one's great. And our last one is a side plank dip, okay? So this is similar to a plank, but on your side, as you can see. Uh, but really what happens is the, the real work is done as she goes up. It's the lower part of the body that contracts. So for everybody, but also runners especially, it really strengthens the muscles on the side of the body here. People have heard of IT band syndrome. This is one that can help prevent that, that issue. And then our final exercise here, is a forearm or elbow plank. She's holding it. She's on her toes and her forearms. If you want, you could drop to your knees. But what we'd rather see you do is, let's hold the regular elbow plank like this. And if you can't hold it for a minute, maybe do 10 to 20 to 30 second intervals and take a break. But this will really create that real powerful core strength in the midsection of the body, which really is important when uh, we run these races. So I want you to we want you to do this. So we want you to do this for 21 do you want, days. Wait, do you or don't? I do. Okay, let's get it straight. You don't want to confuse me. Okay. We want you to do this challenge for 21 days, six exercises, 50 reps each for a total of 300 reps. Let us know how you do. Have fun.